Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about semi-partial correlations. A semi-partial correlation is the correlation between an independent variable and a dependent variable while controlling for the effects of a covariate or another variable on either the independent variable or the dependent variable. So the covariate in the semi-partial case is only being um, applied to either the independent variable or the dependent variable, not both. When you apply the covariate to both the independent variable and the dependent variable, then you're talking about a partial correlation. And I've got a, another video that talks about partial correlations. In this video, I'm going to talk about semi-partial correlations. Now, in SPSS, to perform a semi-partial correlation, you really have only one option uh, in the one case and another option in the other case. And what I mean by that is if you want to control for the effects of the covariate on the independent variable, then you can use multiple regression to calculate the semi-partial correlation. But if you're interested in controlling for the effects of the covariate on the dependent variable, you cannot use the multiple regression approach. You have, you're left with having to do it in a sequence of steps, uh, which is based on residualizing your variable. Uh, and I'll show you how to do that. First, I'll show you the simple way, which is doing it through multiple regression. So what I have here are some uh, simulated day data. I've got intelligence, socioeconomic status, and educational at attainment. And then in, in this fictitious uh, example, let's say IQ and socioeconomic status were measured when the people were 15 years of age, and then educational attainment was measured when they were 35. Uh, in the so in the future, and um, they the hypothesis was, in this case, that IQ would predict educational attainment above and beyond the effects of socioeconomic status that may have had an impact on IQ uh, in, at the age of 15. Really, I should say, above and beyond the association between a socioeconomic status and IQ at the age of 15. All right, so the covariate is being applied to the independent variable in this case, and the dependent variable is remaining pure and untouched. You can actually test this hypothesis in multiple regression. You go into regression, line, linear. I've actually got some variables in there from a previous analysis. Whoops. So this is what it would look like. I got educational attainment in the dependent variable, and I want IQ and socioeconomic status in the independent variable. And on statistics, I want to make sure I've got part and partial correlations checked. All right, and I'm going to um, leave everything else the same uh, as it is. All right, for whatever reason, uh, SPSS calls semi-partial correlations part correlations. Click on Continue. Okay, and we're going to get the correlation in the bottom t in the table at the at the uh, well, actually not at the very bottom. Actually, I calculated the residuals. Um, I guess I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, so what we have here is IQ. This is the coefficients table, the second last table. If you, I've got the residuals here because I asked for the residuals to be outputted. But this, in this coefficients table, you get IQ with an understandardized beta weight of 0 0.409, standardized beta weight of 0.563. If you keep going, go to the end, you get part over here, and that's a semi-partial correlation. So the semi-partial correlation between um, IQ and educational attainment controlling for the effects of socioeconomic status on IQ 